Hello, I'm going to show you a trick, well actually not a trick, but a thing that you have to do in order to be able to use drilling in FreeCAD with a GRBL machine. I've prepared this body with a couple of holes, I'll go and create a new job, select the proper tool which is a 5mm drill, give it some horizontal and vertical speeds, a spindle speed, remove the default tool and I'll close the job. Now I will select the job, go to the drilling, check the base geometry that all the holes are selected, they are, I will click apply and you can see I have the path generated in the operation, I will click ok for now, I won't make any settings for the drilling, just leave it default. The normal workflow would be to select the job, click on the export, select the folder, the file name, click on save and as you can see here it exported my g-code. When I look closely I can see that I have a g81 g-code for each of the holes. And now let's go to the github page of grbl and as you can see in the list of supported g-codes there's no such thing as g81, 82 or 83. So let's get back to FreeCAD. This file definitely won't work on my machine. I've been looking at the drilling operation trying to figure out a way to set everything to get different g-codes. Well it doesn't work that way. What I have to do is double click on the job, go to the processor, select grbl because I forgot to change it initially and now I can try again but I will get exactly the same result. As you can see it's still G81 even though I've selected GRBL it outputs the same G codes that aren't recognized by a GRBL processor. So let's go back to the job setup and I will go to the arguments line and if I hold the mouse for a couple of seconds I can see some options here. The one that I have to use is minus minus translate underscore drill. And now I will click OK again and export the job again. And now you can see for each hole I have an explanation, the g-code that was initially generated and it has been translated to g0 and g1 movements, which is what I want for my machine. This is how I can get g-code to properly run on my machine when making drilling operations. There are a few things that still don't work. I go to the drill and if I click the dwell option and export the g-code again, you can see that it uses the G82 which is translated to G0 and G1 instructions because the options that we selected on the job does this. If I uncheck the dwell and check the pack which is G83 it will also work. You can see that also the G83 is correctly translated to G0 and G1 instructions. But what it doesn't know how to do is when I select the chip break option I will click OK, go to the job and export it again. You can see that it outputs G73, which it will not work. So what I cannot use on my GRBL machine is the chip break option. You will have to take into account that even though I've set the option in the job, if I go to the drilling operation and click on the inspect path commands, you can see it's still rendered as G83. So I won't see the translation from G83 to G1 and G0 movements. Only if I export the option in the exported file, the translation will take place. Otherwise, from inspecting code I can only see the initial operations. So you don't have to worry as long as in the job you have the argument translate drill here it will make the translation of course if you're using options to generate G81, 82 or 83 the 71, 72 and 73 options are not recognized by the processor for now. So this is how you can export G-code for a GRBL machine using the drill operation in FreeCAD and still get usable G-code. Thank you for watching and see you next time for the next tip.